Blessings, beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day so you don't have to read. But we're doing something new this evening because I don't know why, but the recordings on YouTube have not, I say have not, been coming through because I've already read this a couple days ago. But that's okay. It was some minute evidently we need to read again. So that's what I do. I read the word, read the word, read the word. So there's something in here <clears throat> that the Lord wants me to read again and for you to hear it again. Here's our timer. Seven minutes. <clears throat> Seven minutes, praise God. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. See the enemy even trying to choke me. We're going to get this read out this evening in Jesus' name. First Kings, <clears throat> First Kings, the 10th chapter. Starting at the first verse, is reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, and today is uh, February, February 15, 2023, <clears throat> Wednesday. And when the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. And she came to Jerusalem with a very great train with camels that bear spices and very much gold and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all of her questions. There was not anything hid from the king, which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants and the attendance of his ministers and their apparel and his cupbearers and his accent by which he went up into the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in him. There was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, it was a true report that I heard in my own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit, I believe not the words until I came and mine eyes had seen it. And behold, the half was not told me. Thy wisdom and prosperity exceedeth the fame which I heard. Happy are thy men. Happy are these thy servants, which stand continually before thee, and that hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighteth in thee, to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord loved Israel forever. Therefore made he thee king to do judgment and justice. And she gave the king a hundred and twenty talents of gold, and of spices very great store. And precious stones, there came no more such abundance of spices as these which the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. And the navy also of Hiram, that brought gold from Ophir, brought in from Ophir great plenty of all mug trees and precious stones. And the king made of the all mug tree pillars for the house of the Lord and for the king's house, Harps also and psalteries for singers. There came no such all mud trees, nor were seen unto this day. And King Solomon gave unto Queen of Sheba all her desire. Whatsoever she asked, besides that which Solomon gave her of his royal bounty. So she returned and went to her own house, she and her servants. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred three score and six thousands of gold. Besides that, he had of the merchant men and of the traffic, of the spice merchants, and of all the kings of Arabia, and of the governors of the country. And King Solomon made two hundred targets of beaten gold. Six hundred shekels of gold went to one target. And he made 300 shields of beaten gold. Three pounds of gold went to one shield. And the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. 
Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with the best gold. The throne had six steps, and the top of the throne was round behind. And there were stays on either side of the place of the step, and two lions stood beside the stays. And twelve lions stood there on the one side, and on the other upon the six steps there was not the like made in any kingdom. And all of King Solomon's drinking vessels were of gold. And all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold. None were of silver. It was nothing accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king had at sea a navy, Tarshish. With the navy, Hiram, once in three years came the navy of Tarshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and for wisdom. And all the earth sought the Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. And they brought every man his present vessels of silver and vessels of gold and garments and armor and spices, horses and mules, a rate year by year. And Solomon gathered together chariots and horsemen. And he had a thousand and four hundred chariots and twelve thousand horsemen whom he bestowed in the cities for chariots and with a king at Jerusalem. And the king made silver to be in Jerusalem as stones and cedars made he to be as the sycamore trees that are in the vale for abundance. And Solomon brought horses brought out of Egypt and linen yarn and the king's merchants received the linen yarn at a price. And a chariot came up and went out of Egypt for six hundred shekels of silver and a hundred horse and horse for a hundred and fifty. And so for all the kings of the Hittites and for the kings of the Syria <clears throat> did they bring them out by their means. So may the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, and me, the reader. That actually was about six minutes today because that brings us into the read for tomorrow on uh, King Solomon loving too many women. But I wanted to get that read about uh, the Sheba, King, Queen Sheba <laughs> to you today. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Ministry, where I do read seven minutes every day so you don't have to read. Um... If the Lord has laid upon your heart to give us a financial blessing, feel free, feel free. Dollar sign, Mama Pam 23, if I'm blessing you, it's okay for you to bless me. Dollar sign, Mama Pam 23. If you come to YouTube, you will find daily the seven minute reads. Every day I post them, whether I'm reading live or not. I'm not reading live. Uh, this month, I'll be back, the Lord willing, the 1st of March. But I do come on here and I do the recording. So if you catch me when I do the drive-by on YouTube, so be it. All right. I love you all. Until the next read, God bless.